Hello, New York. I very much look forward to meet you all last October. As you all know, January is a very busy month for auditors like me. That's why I prepared this video presentation already a few weeks ago. Yes, we live in a now economy, changes are fast, but I believe that my message today is still up to date. Yes, that's me. Some old school Dutch audit education mixed up with some Silicon Valley out of the box thinking. So yes, I co-founded Kony in 2005. I'm a public auditor. I spend a lot of time auditing financial statements. If I'm not auditing financial statements, I'm helping managers and auditors implementing continuous monitoring or continuous auditing solutions. As an ACL reseller, we have built the reputation of not only selling the tools, but we are really helping our clients in understanding the value of data to build success stories with data and to create an effective control framework. We are specialized in data analysis and process mining. We perform operational, financial and IT audits. We notice more and more that unstructured data is finding its way in audit approaches. There's a growing popularity for open data and unstructured data, partly driven by the hype around big data. I truly believe that being an auditor is the best job in the world. Our background sets us apart from the average analyst or BI analyst. We don't care about how things look, we care about the quality of data, the relevance of data from our audit perspective and from our client's perspective. I believe in continuous, I believe in real time, I believe in innovation, but I really believe that we need to discuss our role as auditors. It's imperative to do so in order to make the next step with continuous auditing. We need to look at our role and technology. I want to share some thoughts around the Dutch audit approach, followed by a discussion around continuous auditing. The sharing thing I can do now, the discussion we can take online at Kony NL, at Twitter. Auditing the unknown is the title of my presentation. In today's world, the audit unknown factor may be bigger than we think. I see you thinking why. Well, let me share some of my thoughts. First, there is still, or again, a lot of focus on compliance in our audits. Secondly, the speed of data has increased, Technology has advanced. Operational and financial systems are highly integrated. Unfortunately, the auditor's toolbox didn't follow all these developments. The reality is that we are still performing audits as we were living in the 80s. I truly believe in a top cycle approach. I believe in 100% substantive testing end to end. I believe in a Dutch top cycle approach combined with continuous benchmarking. The top cycle approach in the Netherlands, we also call it the value chain approach. An approach based on the integrated audit of the business cycles, connecting purchasing to inventory movements, revenues to inventory movements and cash receipts, and so on. Using the top cycle approach as requires you to understand the end-to-end -end process of a company, understand the connecting value streams and build your audit approach around these value streams. Do you know the expression solve versus east? Are you auditing actual numbers against expected numbers based on predetermined formulas? This thinking should be applied throughout the entire top cycle. In a perfect world, the relation between two complementary processes should make sense, with disruptions and loss of values clearly identified. Let me show you some examples. So, for this client, we developed a continuous monitoring solution based on the top cycles and the predetermined formulas. We analyzed the actual revenue streams and product-specific gross margins based on billed hourly rates and worked hours versus expected margins, revenues and cash receipts based on the contractual values. Do we find exceptions? Yes, we certainly do. We perform these audits on a four-weekly basis. Is this enough to provide for the assurance we're looking for? 
No. Throughout the years, we learned that focusing on the top cycle approach is not enough. All the thing, the unknown, right? At some point, it was noted that certain revenue-based ratios of one brand did not match with other franchise partners. As it turned out, this brand was hiring and deploying temporary staff outside the central payroll and billing system. The conclusion was simple, a classic case of a shop in a shop. Auditing the unknown is starting to make sense. The top cycle approach is also part of the DNA of the Dutch tax authorities. In 2010 and 2011, the Dutch tax authorities noted a major fraud by using the top cycle approach at a Dutch supermarket chain. The tax authorities noted various supermarket branches recording high product returns. As it later turned out, fake returns resulting in understated profits and illegal cash payments to supermarket managers. Something that would have been easily identified by using the top cycle approach and a good benchmark on leakage. Audit in the unknown, fictional returns. Back to the unknown question. I don't see our world becoming a more honest place. Our clients operate in a very complex environment with huge macroeconomic challenges. Fraud and corruptions increase the unknown factor, asking for integrated audits, connecting the top cycles, and really understanding the end-to-end -end processes. Fake is reality. Fake and legitimate products are being distributed and sold throughout the same channels. How do we audit the completeness of revenues or the correctness of cost when millions of people are buying fake products in the world throughout these legitimate channels? Again, this is about auditing the unknown. Which tools do we use? Which data do we analyze? It's clear that technology is advancing rapidly, but audit tools? No offense, but they have not changed very much over the years. Yes, we can collect data, analyze data, we can share exceptions and we can file working papers. To some extent, we can do this on a timely basis and with high frequency. But is that enough? Okay, let's look at this clip, including a summary of what I've just said and including a discussion on how to move forward with continuous auditing. Auditing the unknown, close to real-time business assurance. You've heard of continuous auditing, right? It's a combination of automatic data and process analysis to find patterns, exceptions, and link processes. Did you know that most of this was thought up in the 80s? There was a guy who wanted to automate the audit of processes, but he had way too much data. He designed a system that could do the thinking for him. Clever. Back then, everything went slower, especially the information flows. But nowadays, it's a whole new world. We're all linked to internet, and the cloud dominates the business world. Being linked to internet means being linked to other businesses for cooperation, or linked to people all over the world to sell products and share information. In organizations, the information flow and accounting processes have advanced rapidly. Unfortunately, internal or external auditors are sometimes still way behind. We need to move forward. We need to innovate. Remember that guy back in the 80s? He actually gave us the solution. We want to finish his idea and develop a system that integrates processes and transactions automatically. So sales connects to cash receipts, and cash disbursement connects to payables and procurement. And all this is happening close to real time. Exceptions are immediately flagged. Now we need to build multi-organization audit platforms, looking beyond the borders of our own organization. Let's embrace technology, start sharing know-how and audit experience. Different organizations can work together in different ways. We need to launch smart audit platforms, truly integrated audits across the supply chain. We can develop self-learning audit systems. We can integrate our own data with publicly available data, close to real time. Integrate the unknown in our audit approach. Continuous Auditing 3.0 is about taking the next step in audit, a mindset of adding value, developing self-learning audit systems, 
using process cycles and innovative audit platforms. Continuous Auditing 3.0 is the new way. It should have happened yesterday. This was about finding the unknown, but let's look at the question. Are we using the analytical capacity we have? More important, are we using the tools and the data which are available? When we think of franchise organizations as an example, we think about multi-analytical platforms enabling us to audit franchise organizations in real time. This analytical platform would help us to connect dozens of franchise partners allowing for integrated audits of procurement and sales cycles in the franchisor franchisee setting. From procurement to point of sales, this platform should have a strong benchmark functionality and flexible reporting options. When can we start to support organizations in an integrated chain? Think about production, distribution and reseller partners, all operating in one single market segment. Think about IT hardware technology companies, Think of multinationals with production and sales at various locations in the world. When I think further into the future, I see overarching data analytics, real-time, coordinated and executed from one single analytical platform. All the teams from various companies working together. Auditing relations between value streams, such as the expected relations between intellectual properties, corresponding license fees and revenues. Connecting patient data, data from healthcare providers and health insurance companies. We can see the benefit from this, not only from our clients, but also from an audit point of view. In a perfect world, our auditors will have access to sector by sector, publicly available data, fully integrated in our audit tools, frequently updated and facilitated by our tool provider. With smart functionalizations and strong visualizations, to analyze social media, big data, real time, and again, in our integrated analytical platform. We would like to provide our clients with smart audit tools, checking predetermined cycles I've mentioned, to decrease the amount spent on false positives or irrelevant exceptions. We are looking for big data tools and tools to find the missing data that make our audits smarter, creating immediate value for our clients. I believe in an integrated cycle approach. I believe in software that helps us to continuously monitor and report on the value streams, to detect leaks and to perform smart benchmarks. We need to move forward with continuous auditing. <laughs>